Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Torian Realty, and today I'm going to do a quick video on accommodations. So stay tuned. So a lot of people don't know that accommodations are available for the course um, exams. So now you know they're available, and I'm pretty sure they can be customized to tailored to to your needs depending on what is applicable. So first I'll show you where to go to find the accommodation form. And from there, we'll go over more details on what accommodations are available. So basically how you get there, how I get there, is once I'm logged in, I click on the link that says becoming a salesperson. And once you click on there, it'll give you a few different options. And what you wanna click on is requesting accommodations. So once you're there, it'll give you a blurb to let you know what it's all about. So even me personally, I did have a car accident last year that left me with a concussion. Um, so not everything is functioning all the same. So accommodations is something that I could appreciate and um, use while going through this course. So some things to highlight is that it's for people with permanent or temporary disabilities, um, just as long as you're being monitored by a healthcare professional. And um, all the information is strict strictly confidential. So you don't have to let them know exactly um, what the medical condition is. You just have to make sure you have the form filled out appropriately by your healthcare uh, physician. Basically from the top, you'll fill out your information and then you'll put your name and your signature that you can send to this process being done. And from there, your healthcare professional will complete the information. They'll say what kind of disability you have or if you're being assessed for one. And then part two is the most important part in my opinion, where they can put on what kind of accommodations you need. So whether it's more time on a test, whether it's a quiet testing environment, um, any modification to the testing environment, any assistive technology, or there's a space for other if you do need something that's more customized. And then at the last part, your healthcare professional will just fill in their information, put their stamp of approval, so typically your doctor's office will charge a fee for them completing this form. So let's just double check with them to see what that fee is. And then we'll go back to the same place on the website for the accommodations, requesting accommodations. And then at the bottom now we'll select the part where we upload the form. And then you'll hit continue. And then you'll hit start. And then it'll give you a field to upload the signed document. And once you upload it, you just say submit application and then that's it. So someone from Humber College will review it and get back to you. Um, they will, they're really quick about it. Like within a few few days, um, they'll, they'll have it reviewed and let you know the answer. Um, some things to keep in mind is that if you do need accommodation for the exams, you do need to submit this well in advance before the exam. So if you know your exam, I would say give them at least two weeks um, advance notice so you can get this form done, submit it to them, have them review it, and then they'll let you know your their answer. Um, the great thing is that you only have to complete this form once and then it stays on your record. But you just have to give them a reminder call or email that you're, well, you need to book an exam with accommodations so that they can make sure the appropriate staff is available to assist you if need be on that specific date and location that you book your exam. So that's it for this video. Hope it helps. Um, again, it's not something that everybody needs, but for those few people that do need it, I think it'll be worthwhile for you. So good luck.